my plans for today. And she said, no, teacher, you are adding <laughs> a layer of complexity. She said, that was her words. Yes, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Literal, she said that. So I'm like, let's see, let's see how it goes. Before we pass to the, this layer of complexity, we are going to practice a yesterday's exercise, yesterday's lesson by checking multiple combinations on suffixes and prefixes. What we're gonna do is this, multiple combinations. You will use yesterday's lesson in today's practice. So let me check. Where are we? This is 318. 318. Check this out. In this sentence, there is a word missing. I'm gonna help you because they are adjectives, all of them. So please bring out the slide where we saw suffixes for adjectives, but some of these sentences will probably be negative too. You need to understand the sentence in order to give me the right answer. You will have one chance. If you don't catch the word, the next person is going to try to use it. So let's begin with Silvana, because she is going to disconnect at any moment. Am I right, Silvana? Good to be here. Awesome. Please read, give me perfect pronunciation, and tell me the answer at the end. Okay, One, two, three. Even in, oh, sorry. <laughs> even in the university centers, uh, perhaps only 50% of cases are notified while reporting from private practitioner. Uh, is it correct, um, Rita? Sí. The word uh, the, the spelling, yes. Yeah. Prac practioners. Oh, okay. How do you pronounce? Ah uh, this yeah, no, forget the first T. Okay. T T. Um, hmm. Even in the university center centers, perhaps only fifty percent of cases are notified. While reporting for, from private practitioners is hmm. ignore only one T, not both. Pra practitioner practitioners. Practitioner. I know the spelling is correct, but the first T sounds T, and the second T sounds sh or shion. Or Sean, technically yeah. Sean. Yeah. Practitioner. <laughs> now that I say, said it. Uh -huh. Yeah, because it's impossible to say practition Sean, you know. It's T Sean. One more time. Okay, but I have a question. <laughs> sure. What's up? Because I, I was, uh, well, my sister was going out of my bedroom when <laughs> you were. Uh, say, uh, talking about the the exercise indications. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the indications and don't worry. Let me let me help you. You will have an adjective, right? Existent. Uh, yeah. Exactly. But this exercise includes positive adjectives and negative adjectives. So you need to tell me if it's necessary to use a prefix. Use a prefix. If not, don't use it. It depends on what you want to stand on the set. Even in the university centers, perhaps only 50% of cases are notified while reporting from private practitioners is inexistent. Inexistent, and you are so, so close, Milady. 
Yeah. So, so close, but the word in existence is incorrect. Anyone mm -hmm. else? Let's go to Isaac. What do you say? I was thinking about the same, the same word. In existence too? Say? Yes. Uh oh. Uh, on existence? <laughs> that is totally correct. On existence. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me check. Ah, no, we 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 read on the existence. Hey, what happened to the question? We are in this in a different question now. Yes. <laughs> what, what happened? What happened? Look, the word is none. Non non-existent. Okay. Non-existent. I know this is hard. Unexistent, yeah. I think it exists. Let me check. No, it's none. Okay. Jesus Christ. I always I also was thinking in unexistent then. Eh? What happened, teacher? But yes, that's the answer, okay? Even in the you read the complete sentence, Isaac. Yes. Even in the university centers, perhaps only the 50%. Uh, percent <laughs> are of cases are notified while reporting from private pra, pra, uh, how do you pronounce practitioners? That's right, but that's not the, the correct word. The incorrect word was another. Right. Private, private, private. Okay. Even in the university centers, perhaps, perhaps only fifty percent of cases are notified while reporting from private, private uh, practitioners is non-existent. That's correct. Perfect. Next. Carla. You will probably be less able to cope with the pressure of life. The Watch out. Is it only one pressure? With the pressure of life. Pressure. pressure. With the pressures exactly. of life. One more time. Okay. <laughs> you will probably be less able to cope with the pressures of life, the, the ability to cope and be relaxed does not come easily to a body that indulges, indulges, mm -hmm. indulges. indulges in too little physical activity and is unhealthy. Un can you repeat? Unhealthy. Actually, you are correct. Uh -huh. Unhealthy. Unhealthy. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Good job. The one is easy. Let me show you new vocabulary because we have new vocabulary. I bet you jumped. You you were hitting the the blank and you got it. But there is comprehension that we need to do. Mm -hmm. This is our word for B2, people. Cope. And I would suggest to learn it as a cookie. Cope with. This is a good, effective way to learn this. To deal successfully with something difficult. For example, a depression or an issue in the an emotional issue we usually cope in coping mechanisms for example there is a coping mechanism for a stress he wasn't able to cope with the stresses and strains of the job this means that he didn't resist the stresses and the strains of the job 
Do you understand cope with? Yes, teacher. Cool. What about the rest? Did you understand? Uh, could you uh, could you give, give us a different example? Sure. I the way how do you cope? How do you cope with the pressure and difficult days? I usually go to the gym. That's my okay. way of coping. It, could it be a synonym of face? A synonym of what? Or face? Is it correct face when ah, you face? Kinda. Okay, okay, okay. Kinda, but it's not exactly the same because when you face it, it's more like faces to confront. Okay. And cope is more like manage. Manage, <laughs> exactly. You like know. it's like their safe. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> no, <laughs> exactly. Manage is not a synonym of face. You know. Face is more a synonym of fight and confront. So you don't fight depression, you cope with it. Okay, yeah. I right? think I, I get <laughs> Good. Cope with. B2 vocabulary for you guys. Next. Transition, LC. Indulge. Perfect. Indulge. Definition, LC. Sorry? Definition. Okay. Uh, to allow yourself to have or do something that you like, especially something that is considered bad for you. Right. To allow yourself to have. Okay. What is to indulge? It's, for example, you know when, when you have your parents have a, a debate because you are doing something bad. Your mother thinks that this is bad, but your father thinks that this is funny. Your father is indulging you. In a problem, your mother is saying, you shouldn't do this. But your father is like, whoa, really? <laughs> That's funny. He is indulging you. It's supposed to be a problem, but the father is indulging the attitude. Do you understand indulge? Yes, teacher. Awesome. This is it. You will probably be, be less able to cope with the pressures of life. The ability to cope and be relaxed does not come easily to a body that indulges in too little physical activity and needs some health. If you continue having bad habits, and have little physical activity and be happy with it, you will probably be less to, able to cope with the pressures of life. So do you understand this better? Or you didn't understand the sentence? Um, this word, um, the chunk is indulged in? No, uh, the chunk is cope with. No, no, no. Ah, the chunk for indulges? Aha. Uh -huh. Probably. Oh, yeah. Indulging. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice, eh? Nice, nice observation. To indulge here a person in something. 
it goes in something. So in other words, go to the gym, guys. Let's go to the next, Jessica. Yes, as a running or walking any distance becomes, it's avoided more and more. Exactly. Okay. It's difficult. Uncomfortable. Of course, my lady. That's correct. Uncomfortable. Can you read it complete? As a running or walking any distance becomes uncomfortable, it's, it is avoid, avoided more and more. Fantastic. That's correct. This one's easy. There's no new vocabulary here. And you did a perfect job. The next. Go. Mm, drugs which are rapidly mm -hmm. inactivated have advantage advantages. Mm -hmm. There is an issue. What are drugs rapidly? Uh, Inactivate. Inactivate sounds like present. Inactivated. Selenilated. Drugs which are rapidly inactivated have advantages mm -hmm. because the risk of over um, over. Overdosage? Close. <laughs> you are, yeah, that sounds very, very close. The mm -hmm. only issue is the O. Dose? Dose. You know, one dose and plural doses. Doses? Uh -huh. When you are talking about medicine? Mm -hmm. Is one dose and many doses. A dose of repeat the dose after 12 hours. Right? Okay. Oh, doses. Uh -huh. Those doses. Then dosage is the quantity of doses that you need provided by the doctor. And overdosage is too much. Dosage. Overdosage. Mm -hmm. Overdosage. Okay. One more time. Mm -hmm. Why do drugs have a Drug uh, Sorry? Why do drugs have advantages? Why have the why do why do drugs have advantages? Because the risk of the overdose is the risk of what minimized. The risk of what again? Overdose. Though the Overdose. Ah. exactly yes. The suffix for a noun is h. For example, when you say baggage. Mm -hmm. Because the risk of overdose is nice. minimized. Minimized. Okay. And there are no cumulative effects. Nice. But they are also mm, 
convenient mm -hmm. because frequent doses must be given to maintain a continuous effect. And do you think frequent doses are convenient? No, sorry, it's inconvenient. Nice. But let me check. I think inconvenient is incorrect. Eh? Let me check. Uh -huh. It's not on. The prefix is different. So let's try with Silvana. Do you have an idea? Uh, inconvenient. In. That is correct. In. I have to read the sentence. <laughs> uh, yes, why not? Okay. Drugs which are rapidly inactivate have advantage hmm. because the it risk of... Sounds like present. What? <laughs> inactivate sounds like present. Inactivated. <laughs> ah, that sounds better. One more time. Drugs which are rapidly inactivated have advantage because the risk advantage, of... How many advantage are... <laughs> uh, drugs which are rapidly inactivated have advantages okay. because the risk of overdosage is minimized and there are no cumulat cumulative effect effects. Nice. But they are also inconvenient because frequent doses must be given to maintain a continuous effect. Good. Be when you said effects, you corrected to effects. Effect. The that second one I didn't correct. <laughs> no, no, exactly. We are talking about this one. Frequent? It's frequent, not frequent. Okay. Uh, it's the same logic as effects. Yeah. Drugs which are rapidly inactivated have advantages because the risk of overdosage is minimized and there are no cumulative effects. But they are also inconvenient because frequent frequent doses must be given to maintain a continuous effect. Must given? That sounds inconvenient. Must be given to maintain a continuous effect. Good. Slow down, girl. Pay attention to every word. <laughs> Good. The next, Isaac. Yes. Uh, we already saw this one. No? Oh, yeah. Go. Uh, is it a name? Gamer? Chose? Yes, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got gamers. Gamer shows how, how to work. Gamer? No. Is it ga gamer? Partners. Gardeners, no? Gardner, yes. Yes. Oh, wow. Yes. I need, to clean. <laughs> I need to clean my monitor. There was a... <laughs> it's Gardner. Yeah. Gardner. It didn't, yes. it didn't make sense. No, gamer shows how the worker. Yes. Uh -huh. It doesn't make sense. So Gardner, makes... Gardner shows how the, the worker, who is forced, forced, is it forced or forced? Forced? Forced. Rules, check the rules. If if the last sound is voiceless, like force, ED sounds like a T. First. Excellent. Uh -huh. Gardner shows shows how the worker who is forced to be then feels feels free to turn it to cheat his employer. Then feels free in to cheat his employer. Um, shows. I think it's in dishonest. This good, but pronunciation. This okay. The second syllable is a strong one. Dishonest. Mm -hmm. This not the first one. The second. So this this dishonest. 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 Exactly. Because dishonest sounds stressing the first. 
Mm -hmm. The second one, dishonest. Dishonest, dishonest. That's right. Complete. Okay, Garner shows who, sorry, Garner shows how they work and who is forced to be on dishonest. Then feels free uh -oh. to. On dishonest doesn't exist. No, this dishonest. And the second syllable, the strong. This is oh, come on. This yeah, uh, this honest, this honest. No, you are no. you are accentuating the first one. Okay. You need to accentuate the second one. This the this this honest. Exactly. Honest. Okay. This honest. <laughs> This, this, could you repeat it? Sure. Dishonest. 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 Okay. Dishonest. Again. Garner shows how, how they work, how they work, who is forced to be dishonest, then feels free in turn to cheat his employer. Fantastic. That's correct. I was showing the other, the other group. How to use Google Translate to, to practice listening. Did you, do you remember how we did that? No. So you use, you copy the word, but of course don't use Spanish. Use a, a strange language that, so you don't focus on the Spanish because you need to focus on the audio. So you take the words, pay it here, and then listen. Garner shows how the worker, who is forced to be dishonest, then feels free in turn to cheat his employer. Can you hear the dishonest? Yeah. So, so that can you help have you. to choose a, 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 any a random language. Ah. Uh, okay. So you focus on the on the listening. Okay. This tool is the best tool to practice your listening. Ignore the translation, that's a random language, but you can listen to the pronunciation dishonest in the sentence. Okay. That's a good, good help for you to practice. Also, also it's uh, suggested for you uh, in the case of uh, the people who has problems with pronunciation and reading, you can help yourself using Google Translate. Okay, that's the one. Next, Carla. Replaceable. Excuse me, again. Re replaceable, replaceable. Replaceable? Ah, ah yes. yeah, I, I am. is the word. Yes, it's the word. Uh, okay. resources that took aeons to constitute are squandered, squandered in Bye. an instant according to the law of supply and demand. Uh oh, how do you pronounce this? Laws, laws. Okay, let's go over here. Yes, look at. This symbol mm -hmm. should sound like this. Ah, oh, say that with me. Ah, oh. ah, oh, it's a circular uh, open ah. Oh. Low, low, low. Yeah. low. But don't 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 say that oh because when you see the W, you want to say oh. No, it's low. not low. Love. It's only one. It's solid. It's law. Law. Exactly. It's not. It's law, not law, and not low. Law. Law. Only two singles. Law. Law. Exactly. Law. Right. Okay. Plural. Law. Plural. Law. Plural. 
Loud, low, no. <laughs> plural, plural, many. Oh, yes, loud, um, but. Ah, okay, uh -huh. yes. Loud. Loss. Loss. But not loss. Watch out. You are transforming again. Loss. 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 Mm -hmm. Loss. One more time. Blank. Uh, the resource that took. I Only use. one resource? Uh, resources. Resources. Good. Resources that took uh, a on. Mm -hmm. To constitute our squander in an instant according to the law of supply mm -hmm. and demand. Perfect. Do you um, understand? I'm not sure. Replaceable? Uh, the meaning of replaceable? The meaning of replaceable. That's important. Uh -huh. Yes. Replaceable is something that you can... Do you remember what is replace? Mm -hmm. Well, if you can replace it, it's replaceable. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. What else? And what is uh, squad? Is, how, how do you pronounce? That's a word. word. You are pronouncing correctly, eh? Squander. Squander. Perfect. That's okay. super important to know if this is positive or negative. Uh -huh. I need to understand squander. Okay. <laughs> uh -huh. Squander is a verb and it says, to waste money in a stupid or careless way. Okay. So it's very similar to waste, but it's when it's way too much. Some people consider that the prices of, have you ever been to, have you ever been to this restaurant that is Mexican, but it's like, like um, in shopping malls. Shopping malls. Uh, uh, in shopping malls, you have a... Oh, Pollo Feliz. No, in shopping malls, there are no Pollo Feliz. <laughs> <laughs> what mall has a Pollo Feliz? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 in the shopping mall. El Bajío. Oh, have you been to El Bajío some, someday? No, no. No. It looks no. like for, for every people. Bro, forget about elder. It's for uh, rich people. Yeah, yes. <laughs> it's so stupid to pay like 100 pesos, 150 pesos for chilaquiles. Taquito. For a taquito and chilaquiles. Really, it's ridiculous. You see the prices and you're like, bro, but this is chilaquiles, no? In the in the, in front of, of, of that, there's a little car of chilaquiles for 15 pesos. <laughs> So I think that will be, or some people will think hey, that is a squander. You know? Yes. <laughs> or, it's crazy. Like, she like, he 157 pesos, 175 pesos. Like, wow. Amazing. So resources that took eons to constitute our squander. We are talking about resources. Did this explanation help you understand the word, Carla? Yes, teacher, I understand the word. <laughs> what do um, you? What I am not sure. Okay. Um, Maybe unreplaced, unreplaceable. But I'm not sure. No. I agree with you. But is it positive or negative? Unreplaceable. 
let's check. More replaceable. And it's almost correct. It's not the correct suffix. Prefix, sorry. Question, Carla. In this case, you need comprehension. Would you squander something unreplaceable? No. <laughs> it's the opposite, no? Mm -hmm. Yes. Then, what do you need to eliminate? Um, exactly. Only replaceable. Correct, me, lady. No, no, wait, wait, wait. No, that's not the answer. The place of resources that took mm. in to constitute. No, oh, yes, it's it's uh, impossible because it's uh, that took eons to constitute, which means they took a long, long, long time to exist. For example, petroleum. Okay. So that one is not. Let's try with the next one. Yes, it do. Mm -hmm. The prefix that we need. Um, I am thinking. Okay. Mm -hmm. In replace? In replaceable, like in? With, yes. In replaceable. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> yes. But look, the yeah. I is correct. Uh, okay. In. Oh, it's... We need help. Healthy? Do you have it? Irre irreplaceable? Irre. It's only E. Ear, ear. Double, double, double R. Double R. Because the prefix is ear. If the word starts with R, you need to keep both letters. Mm -hmm. So is ear replaceable? That it does. Or spelling, it applies with, with uh, adverbs too. When the word ends in L and you need Li, you need to keep the double L. And if you start with ear and the adjective starts with R, you need to keep the double R. That's a, it, it happens in English very constantly. Got it? Number seven, Silvana. At the same time, it was made uh, space <laughs> for anyone who was not fully medical, medically qualified and registered to treat this disease. This is Can you read it again for conviction? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At the same time, it was made space for anyone who was not fully med medically qualified and registered to treat these diseases. Perfect. Um, at the same time, it was made illegal for anyone who was not fully medic medically qualified and registered to treat these diseases. Very, very nice, girl. Now, check the strong C level for this word. Yeah. Medically. <laughs> and look at one letter. That is silent. Medically. Medically. Exactly. Medically. Medically. This A is silent. Okay. Medically. Mm -hmm. Again. Uh, at the same time, it was made illegal for anyone who was not fully medically medically 
qualified and registered to treat these diseases. Registered in past? Registered. All the time. At the same time, it was made illegal for anyone who was not fully medically qualified and registered to treat these diseases. Sounds good. Sounds very good. And the last one, Isaac. That's easy. And uh, you will be faced here with a great tem temptation to set goals for fast weight loss, loss that will prove hmm. which one? Fast what? <laughs> to lose. Sorry, which, what? The question was fast. Fast what? Fast weight. Loss. Loss. Is loss. Loss or loose. What's the difference? Loose, no? Loss. Loose is a verb. I always lose my keys. Mm -hmm. And loss, loose, loss, loss is wait, lost is an you know, having them. <laughs> it's a noun. Okay, wait, loss, 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 loss. Uh -huh. Because okay. loose is the verb, and okay. loss is the concept. Remember when we talked about in a funeral, people say, I am sorry for your loss. Mm. No, I'm sorry for your loss, you know? Okay, loss. Mm -hmm. Okay, you will be faced here with a great temptation to set goals for fast weight loss that will prove difficult or for you to achieve um, or, or difficult or um, impossible for you to achieve. That is correct. Or impossible. And this sentence is correct. Ta -da! Let's go. So comprehension. This exercise is helping you understand the full sentence, number one. Number two, checking if your adjective needs to be positive or negative. If you need a, the negative one, the challenge is understanding which one is the correct prefix because it exists in and on, especially versus in and on. This is the one that is more difficult. And many, many people forget that none exist. So you need to consider none too. I really strongly suggest you study those prefixes. Okay, let me make a nutshell slide for you so you can take it as a mass material. And negative prefixes in a nutshell. I'm gonna build it for you so I can send it to you via WhatsApp. Meanwhile, pay attention to Jesse because she is in the chat. Jesse. Hello, teacher. Good night. What's up, my lady? Good night, everyone. So I will talk in this. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, it's Jesse. Hi, Jesse. Good night. Hi, good night. Thank you, Jesse. Sorry. <laughs> You're very happy today. What's up? <laughs> Hi, Charlie. Hi, joke. Yeah, she's watching something very funny. Hi, sorry, teacher. Hi, hello, Yuri. Thank you. Jesus Christ, what's going on? Hi, sorry. Okay. Minimum context, no? Hi, sorry. It's my sister. Hi, hello, Elsie. Good night. Sorry. Good night. <laughs> Hi, good night, Elsie. Thank you. Good night. Um, Isaac, hello, Isaac. Good night. Hello, good night. Thank you, Isaac. Uh, Denise, hello, Denise. Good hello, night. Jessie. Good night. And um, Silvana, hello, Sil. Good night. Hello, Jesse. Good night. Also, uh, thank you, everyone. Have a good night. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. 
Yo tú y sí. Oh my god. She never she never does that. That's that was really funny because she never goes like that. Okay, that's it, guys. That's pretty much the class for today. Okay, I'm building the nutshell. So you can take your material. And there we go. All the negative suffixes. Remember the most common ones are usually on and in. But that doesn't mean you will always, it will always be like that, no? You need to take care of those words. 18, 18, 18. I will finish uh, creating this. I'll pass it to you on WhatsApp and I'll see you tomorrow. All right. Okay, thank you, teacher. Thank you. Good night. Good night, guys. Thank you for having me. Bye-bye.